offer. If you, uh, this is clip number one, um, uh, Danielle. If you want any evidence at all, based on the rant that I just shared with you about why, you know, about John Kennedy. If you want any evidence at all that, and, and Lyndon Johnson for that matter, if you want any evidence at all that Hillary Clinton is pushable, and and I, you know, I was very active in the movement to push Lyndon Johnson back in the '60s. You know, to, to the to the point of getting uh, ga tear gas, to the point of getting arrested. I mean, I, I was very active. And, and like I said, we were successful. If you want any evidence that Hillary Clinton is just as pushable as Lyndon Johnson was, here it is. I want to thank Bernie Sanders. inspired millions of Americans, particularly the young people who threw their hearts and souls into our primary. You put economic and social justice issues front and center where they belong. And to all of your supporters here and around the country, I want you to know I've heard you. Your cause is our cause. <laughs> our country needs your ideas, energy, and passion. That is the only way we can turn our progressive platform into real change for America. We wrote it together. Now let's go out and make it happen together. So for people who hear that and go, oh, yeah, but, you know, uh, you know, the 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 DNC rigged the election and they the the election was stolen from Bernie. And how can you trust her and all your bloody, 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 bloody. It's water under the bridge. The 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 and there are going to be two kinds of responses. Right, from people who were not Hillary supporters to begin with. I was not a Hillary supporter to begin with. I was a Hillary supporter eight years ago until Obama really took off. And then I switched allegiance as pretty much everybody else did, which is why Obama won. But, you know, for people like me who were not Hillary supporters until literally just these last four days. There are two kinds of response to that. Okay, great words, but talk is cheap. So those of us who say, you know, yeah, nice words, but you know, I'm not sure I believe her. I don't know that it's gonna ap actually happen. You know, talk is cheap, blah de blah People can do one of two things and are going to do one of two things. Either they are gonna say, yeah, screw it, talk is cheap, I'm, I'm, I'm walking away. I don't like the way that they treated the protesters at the DNC or, you know, I, you know we were dissed or, hey, Jill Stein told me I'm wonderful, um, you know, whatever. There are those, some of those people are gonna walk away, which is the, the, the dumbest thing to do in politics. But, you know, I get it, it's a free country. And then there's people who are gonna say, you know, talk is cheap, She's saying the right words, but whether she's going to be able to follow through or whether she's even inclined to follow through, I'm skeptical about. And so therefore, I'm going to get involved. That's the second option. That's the option we should all be taking. I'm going to get involved. I'm going to show up at my local Democratic Party. I'm going to get elected as as a uh, as a member of the party, as a, as a as a precinct committee person, I'm going to have a voice. I'm going to help pick the progressive, you know, genuine progressives to run in primaries. We're going to take back 
the Democratic Party. We're going to turn it into really into 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 Lyndon Johnson, Franklin Roosevelt, uh, what would have been Bobby Kennedy's Democratic Party. But frankly, it's only going to happen if we pull it if we pull together. Where are we in time, Shane? Minute and a half. Okay. Uh, let's just go to clip number three then, Danielle. It's, it's only 35 seconds. This is Hillary Clinton basically saying the same thing that I just said to you. Now America is once again at a moment of reckoning. Powerful forces are threatening to pull us apart. Bonds of trust and respect are fraying. And just as with our founders, there are no guarantees. It truly is up to us. We have to decide whether we will all work together so we can all rise together. That's the choice. That's the choice that is in front of all of us right now. It's not just about electing a person, right? I mean, the, the Sanders campaign, for example, was profoundly not about Bernie. Bernie never talked about himself. He didn't talk about where he came from. He didn't talk about you know what he liked or what he didn't like. It wasn't about Bernie. It was about issues, which is the you know one of the things that so many people found appealing. So now we've got a bunch of issues. They have been laid out in the Democratic Party platform. Hillary Clinton has said, "Let's work together to turn this platform into reality," and you have a choice. Do you want to join that process and turn that platform into reality? Or do you want to stand on the sidelines and throw stones? Your choice. I can tell you from a hard-learned experience that standing on the sidelines and throwing stones is not only unsatisfying, well, it might be over the short term, you know, for, for a day or two it feels good, right? It's always nice to vent. But over the long term, all you end up with is Republican presidents. And you know what damage that does. You're listening. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.